is the Laplace transform and why do you need to study it? The Laplace transform transforms a function f of t in the time domain to another function, capital F of s, in the frequency domain. In the frequency domain, certain calculations become easier. So we transform our problem from time domain to frequency domain. We solve it and then we transform back to the time domain. An excellent example for this is solving ordinary differential equations. We have looked at solving linear second order differential equations of this type in the past. For homogeneous, meaning right hand side equal to zero, second order linear differential equation, the amount of work needed to solve when you do this in the frequency domain is the following. We take the Laplace transform of the whole equation, which is this. We know what the Laplace transform of zero is, that's just zero. We know what the Laplace transform of this is, and also the Laplace transform of the second derivative, which comes to an equation like this, which uh, we then simply solve for x of s, doing some um, rearranging of the equation. And uh, we then transform back into the time space. And there is our solution to this um, initial value problem with a second order differential equation. Now that was an easy example because we were looking at a homogeneous differential equation. What if it is not a homogeneous differential equation? Take a look at this example. It is still a second order differential equation. It is linear, but on the right hand side we don't have zero. So if you were to solve this using the method you've learned before, you would find a general solution and you would find a particular solution and you would combine them to the solution. Now with the Laplace transform, we don't need to worry about any of this. Same as before, we simply take the Laplace transform of the whole equation. We um, know what all these uh, Laplace transforms here are. We rearrange and in the end, we've got our solution. Straightforward, without having to worry about um, particular solutions and general solutions. So this is much, much simpler. So what do you need to do to transform a function, little f of t, from the time domain to a function, capital F of s, in the frequency domain? Well, f, little f of t, and capital F of s are related as follows. Capital F of s is the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the negative s t times our function little f of t dt. And this is also then written like that, Laplace transform of little f of t. Solve the integral and you have capital F of s. Often we don't need to actually solve any integrals as we have tables to read off the Laplace transform of a function. Here is an example of um, a table that we could use. For example, the Laplace transform of t squared would simply be 2 over s cubed without us having to calculate it every time we're looking for the Laplace transform of t squared. Now, transforming back from the frequency domain to the time domain, we also usually look up functions in the table. We just go the opposite way. So, for example, if we have the function 1 over s in the frequency domain, we know that this must be 1 in the time domain. So this was a very brief overview of Laplace transforms.